Hey, cool kids. So I wanted to talk to you guys about depression. Um, I've never been depressed in my life, but I had some recent life events that really got me down. And I'm not going to talk about what they are. It doesn't matter, but everything just feels different right now. Um, so I'm having vagal pains in my stomach. I can't eat. Um, I can't sleep. I keep waking up, uh, having these crazy dreams about just crazy stuff, uh, involving, you know, the situation that I'm in that I, you know, put myself in and I just wanted to describe the, the feelings. It's so different. I, I bawled like a baby. I haven't cried in 30 years, guys. Hell, probably longer than that, 40. I, anyway, we're making this video because I want to get back to my routine. And of course, there's always a female involved, right? <laughs> That's how these things go. But anyway, I'm hoping that making this video for my cool kids is gonna be therapeutic. Now I do have to tell you guys, um, bear with me. Eva is very worried, very concerned about me. And, uh, can you tell? <laughs> so I wanted to tell you guys, you know, I've been talking about it for a few weeks now. And, um, so what I'm going to do, I have a, a plan, a, a list actually I've made of things I got to get together in my life that I've been putting off. Yeah, you know, I, I don't have a lot of free time. I work a lot. I know I've said that in all my videos, but uh, I've been putting things off that I got to do. And uh, so that I'm going to be making fewer videos possibly, but I just wanted to make this one to see if I could get through it. So thank you guys for listening to my little pity party. Um, some of my other symptoms is everything I do, I, I remember what it normally feels like and then I, what it feels like now. And it's just, it's lost all of its dazzle, you know what I mean? It's, it's faded would be the way I describe it. And like I said, I've, I don't, I've never been depressed in my life. Not really. I've always, I guess, fooled myself. And, uh, but it's not, this is not how I normally am, guys. But I got a real, real number put over on me. And I'm not going to get into details, but, um, some real situationals. And I hope I can work it out. I don't think I will. And I, I got a lot of soul searching and, and life changes coming my way that I have to deal with. But, before I do that, I got to get my life in order. And, uh, you know, I, I obsess. That's why I'm able to find this stuff cheap. I obsess about it. I obsess about hunks of metal when I'm letting my own health go downhill. My health has deteriorated significantly in the last couple years. I've always been in denial about it. And if you saw me, you'd think I was virile as could be, but there's just little hiccups as I've reached my middle age that I've put off going to the doctor. I used to go to the doctor and they'd always tell me I was tip top and I got sick of paying for the visits. Well, starting in my forties, I started having some issues, small issues, minor issues. And uh, as time goes on, the issues get worse, you know? And then uh, finally, you know, you got a major health issue that you got to deal with. So uh, anyway, thanks for that. So you got you know, guys, I'm just saying, don't put stuff off. Seize the day, carpe diem. You know, I never, I always thought that was simple stuff. For me, it always was simple stuff, but here the last couple of years, it hasn't been simple stuff. Um, I've lacked motivation to do the things, the basic things, but um, I've had real trouble um, 
concentrating on what matters and now I'm trying to get, set things right guys uh, so here's some stuff that I got hold that thought why, why are you breaking stuff what what's going on stop what are you doing What's going on? All right, cool kids. So uh, I got this lot of lovely shiny for $145.28. And it's gonna be my last lot of silver for a while. Um, there's 7.184 ounces here. It consists of 67 uh, individual silver coins, um, mostly quarters or 25 cent coins, and then about a roll of 10 cent coins, and then uh, three halves. Uh, better dates on one of them. Better date on one of them. Um, but yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah, this is... Uh, Oh, Josh signing off, guys, for a while. Um, until next time, until we can talk about some more shinies. I do have to complete that series on silver coins around the world, which I'll try to get more. I know some of you really enjoyed that series, uh, and I want to I want to get it done. Um, but yeah, I got I got things I got to do with my time that aren't just YouTube's and uh, YouTube accessories. And uh, I'm also gonna cut off work. Uh, they, I, they always ask me to work and I always say yes. I've done that for 13 years and you know, 13 years I've worked like a wild man and it's never bothered me till now. But I think it's all wearing on me. I am just human, I guess, and I'm just a, a person, you know, on this earth. Um, just like you guys, and uh, I have my limits. I got to probably get some blood pressure medication, you know, little stuff like that, little things. But if you let them go, they'll add up. <laughs> yeah, I was healthy as a horse at age 40. But uh, we'll see what the docs say. Hell, I, who knows how bad off I am now. I've been working nights for 13 years. Uh, crazy hours. They give me all the hours. So many hours. Anyway, that's all I've got for today. Thanks for watching, cool kids. And, uh, yeah, just take good care of each other, you know? This life we live, it's short. and Just treat one another right, you know, uh, if you can. And just really, really try to love one another genuinely, you know? And uh, that's all you can do, you know. We have all make mistakes. We all make errors. We all mess up. Don't beat yourself up too bad like I'm doing right now for that. Don't beat yourself up too bad because you know what? You're fiddling around. Unless you, you know, unless you hurt somebody. If you hurt somebody, you know, maybe. You know, but even then, if you truly, truly repent or feel bad about it and get... You try to make it right, make amends, you know? That's the good thing to do. You can only do what you can do, you know? You can't turn back the time. You can't turn back the clock. You, can, you don't have unlimited time. You don't. You have the time, you're afforded, and you gotta make the best of it. And if I had 
uh, a redo. I would have really concentrated more on getting myself organized um, and learning to love myself. Um, you know, I used to think some people were selfish for saying stuff like that to me. But I'm starting to realize you have to have limits and you can't just let everybody walk on you. You can't let everybody try to make everybody happy. You gotta make yourself happy. You gotta look out for you. And I haven't done that in 13 years. Probably my whole life. It's not something I was taught as a kid. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I try to make everybody happy and I it is I can't. Right? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I can't. And I gotta realize that. And I'm not omnipotent or omnipresent, not that I thought I was, but I'm definitely, I, my judgment has not been good. I thought I had good judgment and discernment, and I didn't. And I now get to suffer for that. And now, yeah, I have to. Do what? What happened? But your little boyfriend's got girlfriend, so you do you're depressed now. Huh? Because you'd rather spend time with her. All right, cool kids. You've never been depressed, you know. I've never been depressed. That's why I said. I've never been dep depressed, but since... Anyway, guys, that's how you get silver under melt. And uh, have an amazing day. Um, find all the collectibles of your dreams while you're awake. And um, this has actually been therapeutic. You know, I, I actually do feel a bit better. So thanks for that. And thanks for indulging. Uh, yeah. Bye-bye.